okay, okay. All right. Check this out. What do this thing and this guy have in common? All right. Nothing at the moment. Absolutely nothing. Other than like the materials, maybe. So, solar panel, roof. Why not? Let's see what it's going to look like. At first I was thinking something along the lines like that. But then I was thinking, meh, that's kind of lame. What about the other way? Yeah, more like that. Yeah, more like that. That looks better. I think all around that looks way better. So, um, I just marked up some lines and uh, we're gonna make some brackets and do some drilling. Why not, you know? And then maybe get a heater going like 24 seven in the car, who knows? So this is the solar panel. This is the kind of brackets I'm gonna be using to get it on. Um, yeah, so it's gonna I have to score it and lined up good on the back I don't think symmetry is gonna matter that much and uh, oh oh yeah the specs yeah if you guys were wondering how much output we're gonna have uh, there you go isn't that legible but yeah it's a uh, hundred watts you know that's not that bad 8 point or 5.8 amps closed circuit and uh, I'm reading it upside down if you were wondering because uh, I just can't be bothered for showmanship I got it measured up. Approximately, we're gonna put the holes and we're gonna punch them in and then screw some brackets on and then see how it sits on the on the rack again. Cool, cool, cool. Now I got some bolts coming through the uh, the back side here. Nice and long bolts. Well, super, super long bolts. See? Isn't that great? So, don't ask me how I got that in there. It's a tight fit. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta get uh, some uh, brackets on there. Like, like that, you know, and uh, put a bend in each of the brackets so they meet the edge and then go straight up. And then bend them to fit the, uh, the roof rack. And then hopefully it bends back around and I can uh, put a bolt through itself. Like, hopefully I can bend it like so and bend it together. Or just put a bolt straight through the roof rack and paint it black, so then it matches. Who knows? Bend the uh, brackets like that, you know? Before, after. Hopefully it looks not too bad. Oh. See? Oof, I gotta work on this edge a bit, flatten it a bit, but uh, yeah, we're getting there. So, that's not too bad. See? They're all matching up. Pretty good. And now uh, we've got to put it back on the roof and uh, draw the lines where we're gonna put the other bins. All right, so right now uh, that's what it's looking like. We're bolting her on and uh, it's pretty good. I was thinking about folding that over and back, but then they'd never be able to get the darn thing off. So just drive the bolts in with nice washers and, and then it's gonna be time for the, uh, the wiring nightmare. So that's it when it's bolted up. I don't know what to do about these little tangs there, but um, you're able to rock the car by grabbing onto the solar panel, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere anytime soon. I don't feel like poking any holes in the body, so I think I'm just going to tuck it in right there. Or I could tuck it behind the trim, I don't know, I don't really care to be honest. This is as long as it gets to the battery at some point or another. That's it for uh, this one, because like people can wire it in totally different ways, but I'm going to show how I do mine in a totally different episode, because this one's getting kind of long. And uh, maybe uh, we get one of these in there, and you'll know exactly what this is based on that light. So, ciao for now.